So this is a young male, 30 years old male patient, uh, professionally a model. Uh, he met an uh, accident and has no com comorbidities. He sustained a clavicular fracture. Uh, Dr. Sir, what, what do you suggest? You want to conserve this patient or you want to operate such case? How this long back was the fracture? Just, How long back? Just, just he came next, uh, next day. Next day, he, he met an accident. Yesterday, he came to me today, and this is his X-ray today. Right. Whatever I can see from this X-ray, it's probably yes. on the left side. Yes, yes, it's on the left side. Right. And you say he is a thirty-year-old model, yeah. a male model. Uh, professionally okay. a model. Okay. Right. So there is a question of cosmesis coming in. Okay. Uh, uh, if one is too fussy, but if you go by literature, if you go by standard SOPs, as they say, mm -hmm. you explain, you counsel the way we all do. Thank you. And unlike suggestions coming in, um, should we ask? Okay. Uh, we have. We will. We will. I will definitely conserve it. Will you want to conserve it? Okay. Okay. Hundred percent. Okay. We have some OPPO five six. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Let's let's go uh, and see another case. No, no, this no, is... no, no, no. Before before we move in, come back. Yeah. Come yes. back. Yeah. First, right. first. Does everyone go with me? And since this is a discussion, does everyone go with me? We can okay. have. Uh, I can ask. Ask here. Yes. Yeah, the, uh, Gunjan, Gunjan, are you there? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm there. What, I'm what there. do you want to do for this patient? You want to operate? Or you want to conserve? <clears throat> is there is there anything more I can know about it? There is no splitting of skin. There is no. I, there is no neurovascular deficit. Just an overlap of more than two centimeters. He's a professionally a model. Yeah. And patient demands? Patient is a model. He wants to model, do modeling. He wants to, he wants to do modeling. Then uh, explaining him the uh, risk and everything, I, <coughs> I'll still I'll think of conserving only. I'll think of conserving this. You want to conserve this? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll ask someone else also. There is someone. Uh, Sashank is there. Anubhava, what do you want to do this with this patient? I'm so sorry. Uh, <coughs> uh, it, uh, this one, case yeah, one, this, right? Yeah, this one, this yes, one, one, absolutely. This yeah. one. Uh, there is a definite overlap of greater than two centimeters. Yeah. So I'd like to fix this. You would like to fix it? Yes. Because there is overlapping of more than two centimeters. Yeah. And any and other reason? Different. And there is a uh, uh, by professional model with the cosmetic value more important. Yeah, let, let Anubhava speak now. Yeah, yes, go. And, and there is a gap of more than one centimeter, overlap of two centimeters, and obviously, as Shaida said, he is a model by profession. So I'd like to operate this for the cosmetic value as well. So what, 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 what? How will you like to operate? You want what plates, screws, nails? What, what all? Plates, 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 locking plates. Uh, non locking plates uh, locking plate locking sai you you're telling justifying you want to operate why do you want to operate um displays are more than 2 cm and uh, uh, by professor uh, is yeah, a model yeah he is a model yeah yeah the cosmetic value is more important part of uh, him okay uh, we think, have uh, dr we... vineet from uh, varanasi here joined us He's a consultant there and even a member of APOA secretary elect YSF branch. So, uh, Dr. Vineet, this is a 30 years old male patient, professionally a model, without any comorbidities, but uh, has Hello. an overlap. Yeah, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you all, guys. Hi, I'm Dr. Vineet from Varanasi. Hello, everybody. And, Hi. Uh, I think I am now the president elect for next year for AP Young Surgeon Training. Okay. So, so somebody told me you will uh, operate with the plate in this patient as she is a model. Yeah. So, yeah. how big size is that? A plate? 
Yeah, Anubhava, you you told you want to operate this patient by plate. You will make yeah. a big scar there, right? Uh, no, if we retract the skin down and we pull the skin down before giving the incision and give an incision on the on the clavicle itself. So while suturing after releasing the skin, it will go behind the clavicle, right? So uh, the appearance of the scar will be slightly, it will be less visible, hopefully. It will. It will be visible. It will be visible. Anyhow, it will be visible. There will be a big scar. You will be putting a plate, and you never know whether the scar will end up in a hypertrophic or a killer scar. So All I right. won't suggest to go for a plating in this patient as she is a model by profession. Yes. The first it's and a he. It's a he. He's it's a not a she. In, in first and foremost thing in while operating any clavicle patient, especially if uh, the patient is a female, you should always tell the patient counselor regarding if you are going for a plate in that patient that will give her a big scar. And it will be visible because most of the Indian women and uh, the female attire, even in the Western world, uh, the clavicle is the most important part uh, uh, for the body part to be exposed in their uh, attire. Yes, yes. You have, sure. have to counsel this patient and tell them that this will give them a big scar out there. Even in a young male patient, I, I whenever I operate in this patient, I do consult them. So most of the patients tonight, conservatively, uh, the, the, the literature says 80% of uh, 70 to 80 percent of clavicle fractures unite uh, in uh, conservative in any patient. And if you are going for an intervention, do consider so many things for this patient. You are just uh, not putting a knife in that patient because his profession matters a lot. Our profession matters a lot. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 Anubhav, I, I have I have a query. Uh, did you see one centimeter displacement? Hmm. Is it one centimeter really? Bolachi. Yeah, Bolachi is one centimeter. So, so, is is so, the gap so, one centimeter? One, one, one more thing. One more thing. I got uh, somebody told me there is overlapping of more than two centimeter. So, what is the criteria? How does that affect uh, if there is more than two cent? What, what, what? Why it is an indication to operate in these patients whenever there is overlapping of more than two centimeter? Can you, can you tell me the cause behind that? Gunjan, you want to tell? Anubhav, mm -hmm. you explained there is there is a overlap of shoulder two centimeters. Shoulder can lead to shoulder dysfunction. Why okay. is there is? Yeah. How does that? Hello. Yeah, Anubhav, can you tell me? Yeah, uh, it can lead to shoulder dysfunction. And uh, yeah, how, how, how does a uh, two centimeter overlapping of clavicle will affect the shoulder dysfunction? How? Hello. Yeah, uh, hello, sir. You want to put an input uh, displacement of more than two centimeter. If you go by standard the, uh, the textbook teachings, yeah. this is hardly our indication. This is not an indication at all for going in and fixing up. Right. If there is no neurovascular deficit. It's a, a one-day-old fracture. There are no external wounds. The patient has. Uh -huh. It's not a floating shoulder. There is no absolute no indication at all to go in and fix. You explain to the patient about the time taken for a conservative treatment and the results, and you also also explain to the patient what happens if we actually go in and operate. He must be given a choice also. Whereas you tell him that non-operating in this case is a much better option. Simple. Anubhav, just tell me if this if this X-ray is of yours or yourself or some of your close family members. Will you ask him or her to get operated? Siddhartha, can I say something, man? Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah actually, the thing is that uh, is this a stress view? Like, uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, the cases which we operate, we usually do one stress view. Like, we make the patient sit and we hang the uh, arm by his side. And uh, in that case, so, we have to. Uh, so I, I, would, I, would suggest, I would, I would, I would like to add one more point for clavicle fractures. So you have to first reduce it. Give him yeah. or her a uh, uh, clavicular brace after reduction. The standard procedure which we have read, uh, making the patient sit over a chair, then pushing in between his scapula with your knee and then doing a figure of eight bandage and 
After that, you should get an X-ray done. Then see how much is the displacement. If it is more than two centimeters, that's a relative indication for that. As Sarah has aptly said, it's a relative indication, but it's not an absolute indication. The abduction mechanism of shoulder is affected if it's more than two centimeters of displacement, as uh, there will be the liver arm will be shortened in that case, and the abduction mechanism of the shoulder will be affected in these patients. So, in especially in uh, athlete and professional uh, sportsmen, we should go for some intervention if there is displacement more than two centimeters. Okay, got it. Okay, let's let's push into okay. another, another case. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a second case, 24 years old female, fallen outstretched hand. She's a news reporter by profession without any comorbidities. Can you see there's a comminuted fracture clavicle? Mm, fragmental. Yeah. Can you see this? There's a comminuted fracture. Yeah. Yeah. So. What plans would you like to do? Uh, Data sir, can you come in and tell me for this patient, what will you like to do, sir? 24 year old. Female uh, with non dominant. Yeah, non dominant, non left sided, comminuted clavicle fracture. Yeah, 24 year old female. Yes. I'll go for conservative. What is this? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, this, this is a different is, one. This is this is some different. Uh, this case, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this is a segmental fracture. Yes. It appears to be a segmental fracture. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll still go conservative. She'll be she'll be happy to have a bump, a little bump there, then have a big ugly scar with a hardware inside, which you have to take it out anyway after a later or so. And I'd still go conservative, assuming this is a non-dominant side. No issues with her news reporting and stuff like that. Dr. Vineet, what do you suggest? Hmm? Conservative for me. Conservative for you? Yes. yes. Uh, Shashank, I, I find you here. Shashank, can you tell me what do you want for this yes. patient? Yes, yes, I can hear. I will also do conservative with light manipulation. Under G. Light manipulation under G. Okay. Shajil, I, I'll come in. I'll come in. Uh, so yeah, that, yeah, I hi. want to ask uh, uh, what manipulation are you talking about? And <laughs> can, can you explain? I've never done one actually. Actually, I just want to slightly depress the medial fragment uh, if it is not possible with the clavicular brace. Yeah, under image, or you just want to do it closed? Just like that, and it, how do you do it? How do you go about it? Under CM will be more helpful for me if it is available. Okay, you want to you want to do it under uh, some form of anesthesia or just go about it? If available, I will go for under anesthesia. Okay. So it's a manipulation under anesthesia under image, right? Uh, I don't prefer it because the segment may go dislodge somewhere more here and there. I don't know how significant and how safe it is. I have no clue about manipulation that too in a segmental clavicle. Yeah. And that uh, one that one fragment understand. will go heavier. Very risky. Yeah. There, there is a neurovascular bundle just behind it. Remember that. Yes, sir. Yeah. So why do you want to manipulate that fragment? You can just retract the scapula behind and get Actually, the length. This is, a, this is a segmental, so it will be very difficult to unite if there is no proper alignment. So I, if I don't get proper reduction, oh, then so I So what, you can get a malunion for that. What does that differ? It will unite. It will See, probably not yeah. unite the way you want it to be, but then it will not unite. Isn't it? Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Okay. So we'll go to the next case. This is a 21 years old male patient. Yeah. He's a professionally a soccer player. History of fall while practicing. In this case, there's a tainting of skin also present. 
What will you like to do in this patient? Uh, Dr. Vineet, can you come in? So there are few indication for operative intervention in a clerical fracture. One of them is tenting of skin or open fracture with neurovascular deficit. So this is a case for operative fixation in this patient. And I would preferably go for a plate in this patient rather than putting a nail or a tens. Because uh, uh, the problem with tens, uh, there are a lot many problems. There is the chance of migration. It doesn't provide rotational stability. We'll come, we'll come um, to it. We'll come yeah. to it. We'll come to it. We'll come to it. We'll come to yes. it. Uh, Alok sir, what do you want, what do you suggest? What should be done in this case? Tenting per se is not an absolute indication. It is a relative indication. I agree. And uh, okay, but considering the fact that this guy is a professional soccer player, uh, he needs to be uh, having a you know a well stable shoulder and all that stuff. And I'd I'd, I'd go with Dr. Vineet and go in for an operative intervention. Sajil, what do you what do you think? What should be done in this yeah, case? Yeah, hi. Hi. See, I would like to weigh in two thoughts. Uh, number one is that in Campbell, we have a lot of indications for surgery. They are fracture specific, patient specific, and comorbid specific conditions and uh, criteria for the, the so-called indications for fixing of the clavicle. But mind you, all of those are relative. The gap, the displacement the uh, we'll the skin we will come back to it what is your yeah. opinion in this case tell me we will come back to it yes. in this case it's a simple fracture it's uh, not a transverse but just a oblique fracture and uh, the guy is an athlete so yeah. see for me if the patient wants to move his hand wants to raise his shoulder after 5 days if that is the type of demand of the patient then only will i go for surgery Apart okay. from that, if the patient can wait for three or four weeks and after four weeks he wants to raise his shoulders, then I will definitely go for conservative because the complications of going in for an open reduction and internal fixation is much, much more than a conservative management. Conservative okay. management, the fracture almost always unites. Just the fact there's some a big amount of a bump. But a bump like a okay, okay, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. You, yeah, you want, you want than early mobilization in the patient. Ugly scar and Sajil, I, I got it. it. Sajil, I would. Yeah. And by early, and by early, I mean if the patient wants to move his hand Shajil, after would, two days. If he can wait for I three would, weeks, I then I have suggest You should uh, go for uh, Rockwood Green. If you are studying for a uh, fracture oh, clavicle or a floating shoulder injury, that will give you very good overview. The, there are absolute indications written in that. There are relative indications written in that. It's a very good uh, literature in that. Uh, you should go for Rockwood Green. And it clearly states there are certain absolute indications for fixing clavicle and there are certain relative indications. So, I, I would suggest you should go for that. Okay? Okay. So guys, I have one question I would like to ask from you guys. If it's a floating shoulder injury, okay, if there is associated fracture neck of scapula along with this fracture clavicle, so who would like to operate and who would not operate and who would go for conservation? Let's start with you. If there's a floating shoulder, clavicle fracture mid shaft with a lenoid fracture. Any opinion of the house? Alok sir, can you get the, the question? Yeah. If yeah you is, mean this? Uh, if if this is associated with a scapula fracture also, it's it's a floating shoulder. You want to operate? Alok sir, your opinion? Yeah, I, we if, if there is a scapula fracture. Yeah. Okay. If there is a scapula fracture, along with this. I won't do anything for the scapular fracture. I just treat this as for the clavicle fracture and go in for an or if to stabilize the scapula as well or if for the uh, clavicle fracture and nothing for the scapula. Post stop, put the arm in a sling and on a shoulder immobilizer and keep it the way you do it. And mobilize much later than we would normally do. Okay. 
so uh, the literature says that for floating shoulder injury if you fix one of the bony fragments if either you go for fixation of the scapula or a clavicle that solves the purpose so you don't need to fix both of them and uh, there are papers and uh, I, i myself had a thesis over that and i published it in jbjs british edition also so whenever you are fixing a clavicle in a floating shoulder injury it drastically improves the uh, glenopolar angle gp angle that we call as for the scapular fracture so if there is a floating shoulder injury the gp angle is, it should be uh, in between 20 to 40 degree that, that the literature says so in these cases you should operate and fix at least one bone and the easiest bone to operate is clavicle one so the uh, neck of scapula is not that of mandate to operate in these patients alok sir your opinion yeah i i agree with you absolutely and uh, what i wanted to do in addition to what uh, uh, the or if for the clavicle is keep the shoulder in immobilization for a little longer than i would normally do instead okay. of trying and going about and giving him through a you know near a pain free rom of the shoulder i'd keep him immobilized to take care of the scapular fracture okay. that's it that's good that's good okay okay thanks thanks dr vinith and dr uh, alok sir for enlightening us uh, let's let's go through a bit of literature first yeah uh, sure yeah uh, it constitutes about around 5% of all adult fractures and mid third fracture of clavicle constitute over 70 to 80% of the fracture traditionally it heals without a new, new functional deficit a mid shaft clavicular fracture that was is clinic uh, traditional teaching so why there is a fuss about osteosynthesis and why is the debate so codman way back in 1934 uh, stated clavicle is a man's greatest skeleton inheritance the perfect shape and function of a clavicle is a must and it adds to the beauty of strapless shoulder and perfect painless function is demanded by if the demanded by patient so uh, but in 1954 uh, Nicole in JBJS also told that most clavicular fracture heals without any treatment itself. So non-operative management remains the standard of care. It was till 2009. The results of non-operative management is generally good. It was also stated in a shoulder elbow surgery journal, PubMed Index journal. so non operative management according to a study in 1998 which showed on 225 patient fracture patient evaluated after 17 years they showed that the their treatment modality was figure of eight bandage for 3 weeks which had a complication of transient neuritis which were surgically treated a follow up having asymptomatic patients was 185 and moderate to fair pain was 39 and one patient radiologically but there were 53 cases of malunion and 7 cases of nonunions one more study of 208 patients of clavicle fractures with a 10 years follow up shows complete recovery in 54% but there were sequelae in in around 46% of the patients it was associated with poor bone contact comminuted fractures women's and elderly patients so the traditional teaching of indication of surgery is absolute indication of surgery is still remains for open fractures fracture associated with skin compromise and neurovascular involvement so what is the changing trend in acute clavicular mid shaft fractures early reports suggested that non unions are extremely rare it's around just 3.7% with surgery and without surgery it is 0.8% without surgery in another study showed only 1% and with surgery it showed 4.6% this was all previous studies but now recent studies shows there was a non operative treatment there is a non union rate of around 15% and unsatisfactory patients around 30% of unsatisfied patient so this is not as good as a traditional thought previously thought recent study shows there's a high union rate in surgical fixations so this is our first case uh, i just made a profession as a model 
but we went around and did a plating in this patient this patient went on and healed well without much there was a scar which was counseled to the patient but he wanted a he wanted his shoulder length to be same he demanded so so all mid shaft clavicular fractures are actually not the same they may be bending tending there may be overlapping there may be combination and there may be dislocation also associated with it so current literature says there is around 30% are unsatisfied patients which is because of non unit and mal unit and some amount of discomfort is also there due to chronic pain and around 50% of patient has a poor cosmosis cosmosis so what are the the complication with conservative management there is also shortening of clavicle there is a callus bump complication of malunion is drooping of shoulders shortening of clavicle malunion malunion causes a local mass angulation of skin malunion may alter your range of motion it decreases the subscapular space can cause a chronic discomfort to the patient as well might cause this malunion cause pain and paresthesia because neurovascular bundle is just behind it so non unions are usually symptomatic in a clavicle fracture and this is the problem so in 2020 we cannot afford to have one fifth of the patient having this problem of non union this was a case too with a comminuted fracture it was very well said a comminuted fracture can land into a non union itself so we did an open reduction and interfrac screw and we applied plates to this patient and went out to heal well so what are the drastic differences in the outcome of non operative previously thought because non operatively past studies were all <coughs> retrospective studies many historical series included only children and adolescents so they have a good remodeling capacity <laughs> nowadays there are high energy trauma they have better registration and closer follow up with patient and doctors as well as patient are interested and demanding to get it operated and get it cosmetics perfect and in current use of patient oriented outcome measures also and there's a patient expectation is also increased you can call it a due to media or uh, social networking patient demands also has increased so what are the absolute indications it remains still the same open fracture neurovascular deficit there is tending of skin also written in rockwood and green there are also strong relative indications of two more than 2 cm overlapping or shortening with soft tissue interposition even after reduction other relative indications may be multiple extremity involvement floating shoulder seizure disorder and all these requires surgeries so what are the options we have we have plates we have nails plates one of the studies showed in 2002 that a pre contoured lcp is always better so how do you plate you do a superior approach or you do a anterior approach one studies also published in a permanent index shows anterior plating as a better but but it all depends on the fracture pattern if the fracture pattern wants to be fixed in the by superior plating superior plating should be done and if the fracture orientation should be fixed by anterior plating should be done with the anterior plating itself but plating also has very bad complications like infection in 4.6% of the patient though non union is only 2.2% but there is always an ugly scar anubhav this is for you it, even if you retract the skin you will have a scar there and no, the and refracture can also occur if you remove the implant okay so uh, the other option is i am nailing but i am nailing also 40 to 50% patient requires open reduction okay so this was a another case uh, young male patient we did a close reduction and i am nailing in this patient and the nail was removed and patient healed very well even in just one and a half month so there was a, a random uh, there's a study on uh, prospective non randomized study level 2 evidence though issued in injury journal on 60 cases on tens and 52 cases non operative or comparative study so tens has a better fast healing better restoration of length 
it is a non invasive it is a non invasive not a fully invasive procedure if it's not opened and is less chances of non and delayed union but the problem is that if you do it in a comminuted fracture which we had a case to there causes telescoping so if you not reduce well and you put it in a comminuted nail fracture migration. this causes telescoping there are chances of nail migration and if you use a too thin nail this is a cause of bending of the nail and also loss of reduction so take home message non operative management still remains the standard of care as told by alok sir all conservativity treatment displaced fracture heals as non union though there are in conservative management non union rates are more than 50% a shortening of more than 2 cm is associated with more chances of non union and unsatisfactory results but last but not the least operative treatment best for displaced fractures especially in gross displacement tenting of skin soft tissue interposition and associate scapular fracture if it's unstable like a floating shoulder in a young active demanding patient displaced clavicular fracture surgical uh. treatment should be considered and indication for tens only remains for a simple fracture thank you so much guys for uh, being a part of this sir, discussion sir i have i have i, I yeah, have yeah, please I have go on go on there are still yeah okay. yeah uh, first uh, first uh, recently we had a class in uh, uh, peerless and we were advised that nailing uh, nailing in uh, clavicle is totally discouraged by some faculty from that uh, scotland uh, dr arpit jariawala he told nailing should be totally discouraged because of nail migration even he yes. used to put uh, uh, in the lateral end of clavicle he was putting eight uh, screws he is ready for that but not nailing uh, i'd like just See, nowadays i'll tell you one thing, thing. if you if you yeah. uh, follow some uh, maharashtra people na there is varegaon kar sir hai na he is from chandrapur i guess he has started yes, a nail with a screw in the top and okay. it showed okay. good results he has published his paper in pubmed is also published in uh, ijo also indian journal of orthopedic right sir. you should go through it okay. it's a good good uh, really? device it's uh, made of titanium really? with a screw mm -hmm. in the top so nailing also has different advancements you cannot say a putting a simple tense nail without a screw can uh, cause migration because there are also modification according to it but it's always better to put it in a simple fractures simple two part fracture not a comminuted fracture okay one more question sir uh, there was a 10 marks question in our theory exam recent advances in uh, clavicle fracture now okay. uh, the quantity for 10 marks is very uh, vague uh, can you tell recent last 5 years any uh, uh, except for going for conservative treatment anything we can add to that answer i gave you everything in this you have all the papers there why okay. you need surgical uh, management what are the things which recent advances in the plates i showed you all the plates sir. which were uh, initially used yeah yeah now pre contoured mm -hmm. lcps are available for this Right, i told you just now there is a tens special type of tens which is been used so you can put all hmm. these things and all these studies in your 10 marks paper okay got the latest 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 yeah, trend Neil. nowadays in latest trend nowadays in clavicle is going for anterior plating so they say okay. it, it doesn't cause much of skin problem.